Chip, kind of a follow up from our previous conversation. So is it important when people are applying to have value alignment with the core values of the company or is it okay to have a little bit of difference and how they can present themselves during the interview? You mentioned that Airbnb does core interview questions. So how can they present themselves that I can do the job, but still I'm different or I'm a new immigrant? Yeah, I think, you know, there's, a, there's core values speak to something that's beyond um, the demographics that are obvious on the surface. So our demographics obvious on the surface are age, color of the skin, gender, sexual orientation. These are things that um, we tend to categorize people as. But core values speak to things that are deeper than just how we look. And, it, and that's the key is um, each company, first of all, if a company actually doesn't even have clarity about what their core values are, then this is a hard thing to even start with. So I would say start with the idea of no more, my opinion is no more than six core values. And it, frankly, I think four is an even better number, which is these are the, these are the values that, are, that a company holds dear, that mm -hmm. they, wanna, they want to continue no matter how the company grows into the future. So even if the company went into new business lines, they would actually still value these core values. And uh, as Tony Shea at, at Zappos suggests, if you uh, come up with a core value that is so generic, such that if you put it into Google in a search, you would never see your company core value come up, it means that you haven't gotten specific enough about how it's unique to your company. Mm -hmm. So think of core values as being something quite unique to your company. It's like a fingerprint for the company. Then once you have that, you help people in the organization know how do those core values show up as behaviors in the company. So let's use an example. So if we said that um, the company is relentlessly resourceful, relentlessly resourceful, that's another way of saying we're entrepreneurial, but it's a nice way to put it. We are relentlessly, relentlessly resourceful then how would that show up as a behavior? What well, would show up that, um, you know, people are really thoughtful about how they spend money. And there's a real sense that we like to be scrappy. And actually when we're interviewing candidates to potentially join the company, we ask them an interview question of, tell me a time when you were res relentlessly resourceful and see what they come up with. Because actually, in, in essence, your interview questions can really be just a, almost like a checklist of your core values. How does this person show up and do they have a good story and history um, of living that core value? So at the end of the day, just know that core values are in essence, almost the invisible glue that brings people together. And the more global the company, the more virtual the company in terms of people not being in the same location all the time, the more important the core values. Yeah. And I also feel that if the direction comes from the top, from the CEO, that they are open to, to people who have a little bit different uh, core values or they are open to new immigrants coming to the workplace, I feel that that will also help. But again, at the end of the day, this candidate is being interviewed one or two people. And I feel that if there is no, if they didn't like this person or if they didn't feel the vibe that this person can work with the team, I feel that at that point, they will make the decision to not bring them on board. Correct. Yes. Agreed. Okay. Okay. Again, thank you for those tips, Chip. And for the audience, if you have any other tips that will help in terms of value alignment, again, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for another question with Chip.